still have to lock in your seats. So probably like stealth the best. If you spin you around and then they, they tilt different you up angles. at different angles. Sounds like a good time, doesn't it? These kids are actually in school. For acceleration and speed. Velocity, distance, and time. Paramount's Great America is their classroom. Today is the 19th annual Physics Day. Like that one over there, grease lightning. Like you see, like gravity working and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's a great learning experience, you know, and you get to have fun at the same time. You're not stuck in a classroom. So let me get this straight. They're taking a full day out of the classroom. They're spending it at Paramount's Great America. Somebody, please tell me they're getting some work done. Okay, this guy is. It's squared, or it's squared. When you come back up, they catch you, right? And then they just lower you back down. This is beautiful. That's Clarence Backett. Right here, it's registering about 50 meters per second squared, which is like almost 5 Gs. He's a physics teacher at Gunn High School in Palo Alto and helping students decipher the data they collect on thrill rides around the park. They get to the point where they get on a ride and they start thinking, geez, am I going to have more lateral acceleration or more vertical acceleration rather than, hey, let's just go have a good time. And measure the distance right then. Acceleration equals to velocity squared divided by the radius of the ride. Not the typical conversation at a park like this. Just like the little cars make 47 revolutions. I would rather be sitting here than in the classroom. <laughs> and then the big one makes 18 the whole ride. Am I confusing you? You might find it helpful to sketch a, sketch a vector diagram to show all, all the forces acting on you. Right now we're taking the classroom to the world, but later on you're going to be on your own, and you can think about it. Yes, and think about what you've learned today. I learned I want to do it again. Oh, fun. For the Primetime News at 10, I'm Jonas Tishner.